I mean, I will just summarize it as the uh, best time to invest. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire has, uh, uh, has now, in terms of numbers, 8% uh, growth. Uh, the country is perceived as the first business destination in sub-Saharan Africa. I think that uh, just after the election, the first term of the, of, of, of the president, uh, the international community was able to see a very strong uh, policy uh, opening the doors of Côte d'Ivoire to foreign investors. Uh, and uh, even if Côte d'Ivoire was seen in certain countries as a French chasse gardée, uh, I think that now uh, the testimony that the doors are open to global investors is the opening of first uh, the entrance of Standard Bank in, in the Côte d'Ivoire market. So I think that, yes, it's a promising destination. Uh, we have still certain challenges, but uh, I would summarize it as in Francophone Africa, Côte d'Ivoire can be seen as the best uh, business destination. Oh, challenges. There are many in a sense where after uh, 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 almost 10 years of uh, political crisis, uh, we all know what South Africa has done in terms of reconciliation. Uh, reconciliation process is still a challenge in Cote d'Ivoire. It's still something where the government has done much, but uh, uh, there's a lot of work to be done. We think that it's going to take more and more years. And uh, if you read some reports of international organizations, NGOs, uh, they have the view that uh, the reconciliation process is one of the main challenges of the Côte d'Ivoire uh, political and uh, environment. Uh, after the reconciliation, I think that also we have uh, uh, an issue with inclusiveness in a sense where uh, to keep a country uh, with a long sustainability uh, growth, uh, inclusiveness is key. And uh, there is a perception that uh, what is expected in terms of uh, uh, re revenue sharing uh, in a large portion of the population has not reached yet its goal. I think that the government is aware of that and, uh, of course, Everybody is, cannot be as patient as expected, uh, but uh, I think that this is something to be uh, a point to be addressed. Uh, I, I think that it depends, but uh, something that we, Ivorian and uh, even professional, uh, are witnessing is that it's a country where, uh, for instance, it's something that I give, I, I, I always give as uh, a, a criteria. There are very few sectors where uh, there is a m minimum local ownership, ownership imposed. So it's it's opened the door for an investor from Kazakhstan, from Malaysia to come and open a business with 100% ownership, except in certain uh, uh, re reg very regulated sectors like in the mining sector. So for, 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 for business, uh, for business uh, and investors, uh, when you see this type of environment, uh, I think that uh, the kind of bureaucracy that some may face uh, to set up a business uh, cannot be compared. And in fact, we, we have a very 
uh, good performance of the investment promotion agency where in almost uh, 24 hour, hours you can set up a business. So I, I, I think that uh, this is something tangible uh, and uh, for an investor coming from everywhere in the world, uh, this is something very important to know that you, you are not forced to get a local partner with 50 or 30% before starting a business.